Welcome back, everybody, to the North American Strikers League, where we are about to get week number seven underway. Or actually, it's week number eight. I'm, I'm one behind. I missed a week, and my count is off. But either way, we got our penultimate week of games coming on up here. We've got some good games of Mega Strikers lined up, and we're starting off with kind of a banger of a match right now. Sad Boys versus Bun Bun Bonanza. Pretty, pretty hype matchup. Both these teams have been on a pretty unstoppable pace in the last couple of weeks. Starting off the week, we saw a pretty heated matchup. Bun Bun and the Sad Boys went into this match 1-1 one and one in Nassau games after their matches last season. The series started off on the boys' pick of Demon Deus, and Vaughn wasn't available for Week 8's match, so the boys saw a pickup of Puffy FPS in their midfield slot. The boys were able to take the first set in a 3-1. In set 2, though, the Bonanza were able to pick up a little bit of steam for themselves, going goal for goal with the boys before dropping the set in 5th point. In set 3, we saw the underbuns come out, though, taking those first two lost sets to come back and take three quick goals to send the game to a set 4. Set 4 proved to be even more of the same, with the Bonanza catching three straight goals once again with an ace for the cherry on top. In set 5 though, the boys dropped the first point only to take the next two, setting themselves at match point over Bun Bun. Bun Bun pretty quickly came back though, taking away the next two points to close out a very intense and close match to start out the week in a 3 set to 2 set victory for the Bonanza. In game 2, the teams went down to the test chamber, and with the forward Luna coming out from Scyther 12, Bun Bun was able to take set 1 this time in a 3 to 1 win over the boys. Set 2 ended up going to the boys though in 3 quick points evening up the match for the teams before Bun Bun came back with a 3-0 set of their own to take set 3. In set 4, the same scoring that was seen in match 1 came back to bite the boys, with Bun taking the first point, dropping the next two, and then taking the next two in a row to close out the victory over the boys to go up to 5-3 to in the season. Get that open net first, but Scyther with the flip. Be a nice save though from you already lose. They try and reconvert here, but Liari and Scyther keeping it up in this corner quite well. Really good stuff so far, Lily. Dribbling it back, going to be able to get it into Scyther's hands to push it in for the second barrier. And a chance to end it right here, Scyther going to take it. Coming back on up and taking the 2-0 for Bun Bun Bonanza. What a statement from this team looking to cement themselves in top four. A 2-0 win over Sad Boys on the week. Welcome back, everybody, to Week 8 of the North American Strikers League, where we have got ourselves our second match of the day. We do have Bozo Bunch taking on last call in what is sure to be a very important match for the Bozo Bunch particularly. They're sitting here at 3-4. and four. They're kind of on the outside looking into the playoffs picture, especially now watching Bun Bun go up to 5-3. and three. Going to really need to be able to win out these last couple of weeks to be able to get themselves into the playoffs. The first match of the series was a bit interesting, and with a perfect form and rapid fire start, the Bozo Bunch used Dropletto's typical X and Breds' typical Rasmus, but then also put Muncher on a new pick of Zentaro Midfield, a legend previously only thought to exist in his solo queue livestreams. Unfortunately for the Bunch though, this comp didn't quite work out for them, and they ended up getting 3 0 in just 14 minutes, only scoring 2 goals in the process. Game 2 was different though, and with the bunch playing much more conventional picks, they were able to take the victory 9-1 this time, in just 11 minutes, to show that they still wanted to win the series no matter what. Game 3 was a bit more interesting than the first two, and after a .5 victory in the first set for the bunch over Last Call's lore accurate fight breakers comp, Last Call were able to crawl their way back into the match, taking set 2 and back and forth in another goal 5 scenario. Going into set 3, we saw a goal 5 scenario yet again with Last Call taking the back-to-back -back sets to put themselves in an advantageous spot, going into set 4. Last Call didn't want to lengthen the series any longer though, and it ended up taking their third set win 3-1 in points, closing out their victory over the bunch. While this win for Last Call can't save them from being ineligible for playoffs, it has put the Bozo Bunch in a bit of a harder position to even give them a chance at making playoffs through tiebreakers, with the team needing to win their match against the Calamities next week to make it even possible for them to stay alive. Down once again, Borg at 3 are looking to set something up. Fresh is also pushing up here. A nice dribble from Borg at 3 just trying to stay alive and a bounce on the top. The glitch pop It's good. Last call, take the series. Whiplash hitting Bozo Bunch there at the very end. 
as bounces back and forth between the drums into the glitch pop, leaves him dizzy. And last call will come on up with the win, two to one over Bozo Bunch. Hello, Strikers, and welcome back to the North American Strikers League. I am Brickbat, joined by the illustrious Dendar today, as we're going to be casting um, Lob City versus EKC. EKC here, this is a must win for them. Um, EKC's playoffs runs are looking very live right now. They're looking very good. But the world in which EKC loses to Lob City is the one world where they just are out. They are out without, um, I believe, any chance of a tiebreaker, unless I'm incorrect. But... Both teams in the series had a substitute player in, with Lob City fielding Ayla Lira in her NASL debut, and Cardbox for the second time this season subbing in for Katsuna on EKC. Era's Kitten Club ran away with the first set very early on, taking it in a 3-0 with the second Bitebreakers comp in a row being utilized this week. In set 2, Lob City were able to take the first two points until EKC put a stop to it, by scoring the next three in a row to once again take the set and snuff out Love City's candle in this match. Going into set three and taking that one in a swift 3-0 set and match win to send the teams to a game two in 15 minutes. Game two was pretty wild though, simply because of Soren's pickup and net. For the first time in the season and most likely a pretty long time in the future as well, Soren pulled out a powerhouse Pauldron's Juliet goalie against Love City. Love were able to take set one in a three to one fashion already outperforming their Game 1 score on their favorite map of Demon Deus. Set 2 had a similar result, with EKC scoring the first two goals, only to find Lob City returning with three of their own to go up 2-0 over EKC. After dropping the first two goals in the third set to find Lob City at match point, EKC locked in, taking three goals in a row to win their first set before going into set 4 and immediately 3-0ing Lob City to send the teams to a set 5 game. Lob City went into set 5 by going up 2-0 over EKC. But as we've seen before, that means nothing if the other team locks in. EKC were able to catch the next three points in a row, closing out their match victory over Love City and sending monumentalist Juliet Goalie up to a 100% season win rate, with NXED earning a very well-deserved MVP for keeping EKC's playoff chances safe in the two before against Soren and Love City. Not there to participate, EKC complete the reverse sweep and Juliet's debut in the North American Strikers League as a goalie is a victory. Soren able to win, but NXED earning definitely a well-earned MVP that game. Welcome back, Strikers. We are back for some more North American Strikers League. This series It's going to be Bang Bang versus Cosmic Calamities. It's actually not a must-win for either team, but it's still going to be an important win for both teams um, as Bang Bang, I believe, secure their playoff spot uh, with a win and a Cosmic Calamities win this, they are guaranteed at least a tiebreaker series, no matter how the rest of the season goes. So putting uh, getting a win will put both of these teams in an incredibly good spot for their playoff contentions. So definitely both teams will be trying their hardest here. While both of the Bang Bang and the Cosmic Calamities rosters were on their starters, we did see Forgot on the Calamities name change to Killmonk between weeks, referencing Katona's old account name. Game 1 went to Demon Deus, and the Calamities were able to take an early lead in a 3-1 set win. Bang Bang followed up with the same energy though, taking the second set in a 3-1 win immediately after. Bang Bang kept that energy going into the third set as well, grabbing another 3-1 set in order to put themselves one set away from winning Game 1. After one final 3-1 set win, Bang Bang had scaled enough to claim victory in Game 1 over the Calamities in, you guessed it, a 3-1 win in sets. Game 2 went to Oni Village, with the Calamities taking set 1 with 3 points to Bang Bang's 1. Set 2 finally broke the streak though, with the teams going back and forth in points to grab a goal 5 win in the set to put the Calamities only 1 set away from victory. Set 3 lit a small fire under Bang Bang, with the team climbing back to take this set 3-1 to one in points to send the teams to a set 4. After the second goal 5 set of the game, Bang Bang were able to claim victory over the Calamities in a very close set to send the teams to the 5th and final set of the game. After losing the first goal, Bang Bang were able to grab a goal of their own, but unfortunately for the team, they were met with two more points coming at them from the Cosmic Calamities to close out the game and send the teams to the 3rd and final game of the series on the Clarion Test Chamber. Bang Bang started off the match scoring two points in a row, which was then followed up by a quick score from Kotone before Bang Bang were able to close out the first set. Bang Bang went into set 2 also drawing first blood 
but this time the Calamities grab goal too before Bang Bang locked in once again to take the set 3 to 1 to send the teams to set 3 and potentially the final set of the series. The Calamities once more scored the first goal and Bang Bang followed up with two of their own, only for Calamities to grab goal 4 for themselves and send the set to a goal 5. With an amazing angle from Drew, he used the flip and shot the court to the bottom corner to close out the series 2 to 1 for Bang Bang. Get a save, the triple take does not get the redirect that he wants, but Drew with the shot and the core flip kills Cosmic Calamity's hopes of a comeback, ends the series for Bang Bang, and Bang Bang now find themselves in the North American Strikers League playoffs. The regular season coming out as a success for the band the banded trio here, and they're gonna find themselves in a good position here, looking good going into the end of the regular season. Wow, happy summer everyone. We're we're here. I have the stream open, so I'm listening to myself. We're here with Demons Raw versus Showtime, the current number one team in the league right now. And then we have Showtime, who is currently in, in the race to make playoffs. Working on this win would be monumental for them right now. Demons Raw this week found themselves without their typical snake in the brawler spot. And with Fiery presumably unavailable for the first game, they ended up fielding Gravity for the first time this season. Kainub ended up getting forced into the brawler position for the team, and with Showtime on their main roster, things were looking a bit lopsided. Showtime took the first set in a quick 3-1, and going into set 2, there was a bit of back and forth until the Demons took a goal 5 win on the set. This victory didn't last long though, as going into set 3, Showtime were able to grab 3 quick goals over the Demons before the fourth set. It was definitely time to put on a show, as Showtime went into set 4 and immediately got their final 3 goals to close out match 1 over the Demons and their PC Cafe induced packet loss. Game 2 saw Gravity swapped out for Fiery, letting Kainub go back to the midfield and letting Gumi continue doing whatever crazy things he does in the goal box. This game saw the Demons taking the first set in a 3-1 over Showtime, and then going up 2-0 in points in the second set. After 3 pretty fast goals from Showtime though, they were able to even up the score grabbing their own set and going into set 3 with a bit of an advantage. After yet another goal 5 set though, Showtime took their second set over the Demons in the game, and with that set win it just went downhill from there for the Demons. With a 3-0 win over the Demons, Showtime were able to take the series to make a 3 pay ties worth of teams at 4-4, four four, all fighting in order to either secure playoffs or get knocked out in the final week of the regular the season. Barriers. Demons Raw with an opportunity now, but Shianzu is still alive, and if Shianzu's alive, there's a chance for a goal, and that's Showtime! They make it happen! They win against Demons Raw!